All right, this is section 1.2. Uh, just uh, modeling and alternative representations. Um, let me get back. Okay, there's the quick quiz. Uh, a model is a simplified substitute for the real problem that allows us to solve the problem in a relatively simple way. Uh, two primary conditions for using particle model is the size of the app actual object is of no consequence in the analysis of its motion. Any internal process occurring in the object are of no consequence in the analysis of the motion. Uh, let's give an example. When we study gravitational force, uh, we can model the Earth and the Sun as two points having the, uh, the same mass separated by their, by their centers. It doesn't matter that the Sun is so big and the Earth is less big, but still big nonetheless by our standards. Uh, we can represent them as, represent them as two points of mass. Uh, the uh, two points of mass having, uh, you know, separated by a particular distance. Uh, and as far as internal processes, you know, there's all sorts of stuff going on in, in the Earth's system. We have weather, we have uh, ocean currents, none of those come into play, those are internal processes uh, in the Earth. None of those come into play when we're uh, calculating gravitational acceleration. So those are the, uh, two, the two conditions. Um, so the first category is a geometric model. And there I, I've already discussed uh, how we can, you can represent, you know, the whole Earth. Uh, you can simplify it and, and uh, as a point, as a point of mass. Uh, so let's go back. The, the first is a geometric model. The second is a simplification model. The third is an analysis model. And the fourth is a structural model. Uh, a re representation is a method of viewing or presenting the information related to the problem. So it, it's just a way of... Uh, of simplifying the problem uh, and getting rid of ex uh, extraneous data that we don't really need. Uh, the uh, I'm going to recommend that you and, and you'll see it in some of the homework examples that I do that you uh, when you're not clear of what's going on that you do a little sketch uh, to help you visualize what are the uh, forces involved in, in causing a, uh, an object to move. Uh, and this is a short little video. This is all I have to say about uh, uh, modeling and alternative representations.